Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to talk about the double angle for sine. So if you are new here consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content and don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. All right, let's get started. Um you should know that if you have sine of an angle E plus or minus another angle B. This is equal to um, sine of the first angle multiplied by cosine of the second angle then plus or minus uh, sine of the second angle this time around which is B multiplied by cosine of the first angle so this implies that if you have addition you use addition if it is subtraction you use subtraction so let me split it uh, let me start with the minus sign but since we are talking about double angle, we are going to continue with the plus sign. So this is sine of A minus B. Whenever you have this, you should know that it is the same thing as sine of A multiplied by cosine of B minus. Since this is minus, sine of B multiplied by cosine of A is very important. Let me box it. All right, then for sine of E plus B, this is our point of interest. This is equal to sine of A multiplied by cosine of B, then plus sine of B multiplied by cosine of A. So if you have addition, you use addition. Well, remember we are talking about double angle meaning we have A equal to B. So in case where A is equal to B, we can either replace A with B or B with A. But let me equate them to be something else, theta. So we are going to replace both A and B with theta. So this would be sine of theta plus theta, right? Which is equal to sine of theta multiplied by cosine of theta plus sine of theta multiplied by cosine of theta. So since we have two thetas here, we have sine of two theta. This is double angle equal to these two terms are exactly the same. So we have two quantities of sine of theta multiplied by cosine of theta. So this is the formula for double angle for sine ratio. But I would like to prove this formula. All right. I have my Cartesian plane here. Uh, let us assume this is y axis. And we have x axis here. All right. I would like to draw a line segment of one unit from the origin. Uh, something like this. This is one unit. By forming a right angle triangle here. We have to have an acute angle here. Let's call it theta. This is 90 degrees, remember. And what about this angle here? If this is 90, the sum of these two will be 90 as well. So this angle right here will be 90 minus theta. 90 degrees minus theta. I would like to find the major of this side length. So since we don't know it, we can call it x. So according to sine rule, it's stated that sine of that angle theta is equal to opposite divided by the hypotenuse and hypotenuse is 1. So you can clearly see that x divided by 1 is x. Therefore, the major of that side will be sine of theta. So this is sine of theta. Next, I would like to form a mirror image of this right triangle in the fourth quadrant. So let's do that. All right. So since they are mirror image of each other, they have to have the same dimensions. So this is one unit, and this will also be a sine of theta, right? And this angle here must be 90 minus theta as well. So I would like to bring it out. All right. So you can see that this is sine of theta, this is sine of theta. 
So that side length must be 2 sine of theta. So this is 2 sine of theta. What about this angle? It will be what? Uh, theta plus theta, right? Since these two angles are the same. So we have 2 theta here. And remember this is one unit. This is also one unit. And this angle here is 90 degrees minus theta. Likewise this one here. 90 degrees minus theta. So let me apply sine ratio. Remember according to sine rule. Sine of this angle divided by the side length opposite to the angle. So sine of 2 theta divided by 2 sine theta is equal to sine of the other angle, sine of 90 degrees minus theta divided by the side length opposite to that. We can use this, which is 1. All right. This is sine of 2 theta divided by 2 sine of theta equal to, if you could remember from co-function, this is the same thing as what? Cosine of theta. I have that in my previous lesson. So this is cosine of theta. Divide by 1 will not change it. So by cross multiplication, we have sine of 2 theta here to be equal to, you take this one, you multiply by this. So you have 2 sine of theta multiplied by cosine of theta. So you can see that we are able to prove that the sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta, right? Which is exactly this. So in our next tutorial, we are going to do the same for cosine. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.